Trump is innocent. Trump is innocent. No one is above the law. A grand jury indictment for Donald Trump's alleged role in a hush money payment to a porn star would kick off a process in which the former president would likely travel to Manhattan to face charges. Trump has denied wrongdoing in the case, saying the probe by the office of the Manhattan District Attorney, Alvin Bragg, a Democrat, is politically motivated. It's an absolute disgrace what's going on. We typically know how an arrest happens, where it happens, and exactly how a defendant will get from the arrest to the arraignment. But this is a totally untypical situation. Here's a look at the key locations where Trump could be indicted, arrested, and arraigned. Since late January, a grand jury has been hearing testimony from witnesses in the Louis J. Lefkowitz State Office Building at 80 Center Street. These witnesses have been people who can talk about Trump's role in the hush money payment to Stormy Daniels. Hi, everyone. Witnesses have included Michael Cohen, who was Trump's personal lawyer at the time and played a key role in the payment and reimbursement. If jurors here vote to indict Trump, an arrest warrant would then be filed under seal. Prosecutors would notify Trump's lawyers of the indictment and negotiate a time and date for his surrender. Here in Manhattan, that's a common practice to negotiate a surrender date with a defendant. The timeline here is really unknown. Sometimes defendants appear the day after an indictment is filed with the judge. And sometimes it could really be several days or a week. A defendant who is allowed to surrender typically reports to the Manhattan District Attorney's Office at one Hogan place during an agreed upon date and time. It is typical for someone who commits an alleged white collar crime to be handcuffed. I remember we saw that with Alan Weisselberg, who was the former Trump Organization CFO. But with Trump, that's a, something we really don't know how that's going to play out. If Trump were to surrender and be arrested, he would likely have his fingerprints scanned and his photograph taken for a mugshot here. After being processed, defendants are typically taken to a holding cell in the Manhattan Criminal Courthouse, which is connected to the district attorney's office, but it has its own entrances on Center Street. Protests in the area around the courthouse in recent days have sparked security concerns. Secret Service is totally focused on keeping the president safe, but there's also a lot of security concerns in terms of keeping Alvin Bragg, the district attorney, safe. Secret Service agents would be with him throughout the booking process and would likely turn the courthouse into a protective zone and bring Trump through a secure access point. His safety is their top priority. During a court appearance, a judge would ask Trump to enter a plea to the charges in the indictment. Prosecutors and defense attorneys could also talk about ministerial matters, which include setting a date for the next court appearance and exchanging evidence. After that, he would exit the building and presumably get back on his plane and could be home in Florida for dinner. 